Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to convert a Cisco IP phone 7961 model from SCCP protocol to SIP protocol. So first of all, you need the files for the SIP. Here I have accepted a folder of SIP and these are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 8 files that you would need to convert your phone from SCCP to SIP protocols. In my case, I am using Elastic Server, so I can ex I have already accessed to Win SCP protocol. So just I would just copy the files from here and would just drag and drop into my TFTP boot directory. Uh oh, it says that yes, you have already. So I'll say yes. Here I have these boot files here, uh, as you can see, four one and four one and and and, and, and four one. So just close it. I'll just close it and I will just open my session here SSH and this is the IP of my elastic server so here it asks for my password and here welcome to elastics okay so now I'll just enable my TFTP server so that my IP phone can get an IP. Here, server is okay, and I don't need anything else right now. So let's get towards the phone. So let's get to the phone now. This is my 7961 switch. So now, this is my 7961 IP phone attached via a PoE switch. Mm, I have pressed the reset key. Especially for the 7961 uh, model, you have to press long, long, long the hash key until these lights start blinking. Let's see what happened. Yeah, I'm still holding the key. I'm still holding and holding and holding. It took maybe two to three minutes to start a reset process yeah now one two three four five six seven eight nine star zero hash and yes it is now restarted and upgrading after a few intervals it would get an IP address automatically and start its conversation. Basically it, it needs to be synced with the asterisk server to get an uh, IP address. So yes, we have to wait for some moments until the TFTB uploading process starts. Here, starting. First of all, it would load a default 
as you can see many people use TFTP32 it is also very good software but in this video I would use S6 server because I find S6 server really easy and really really uh, simplest thing to convert a spoon from SCCP to SIP protocol. After the conversion the spoon would restart itself and would be converted into SIP. But we have to wait for it. I think few files are left, maybe one or two. You can see here it is a block. Two blocks are completed and one, two, or three. Three blocks are still here. Seventy percent uploaded. If I look at my server and if I enter a command something like that, it would indicate the IP address that says 192.168.11.96 and this is the IP address of my phone and the hardware address is the MAC address of my phone. Let's see the last block is still here. Uh, it is 13 person uploaded and it's done then the phone will now restart and now the phone is converted from SCCP protocol to the SIP protocol I'll uh, just show you phone restart itself and here you can see clearly now These models 7961, 7962, and 7941 and 7942 took one to two minutes to boot themselves. As uh, these phones are basically running Java and are more stable than 7940 and 7960. And here we are, the phone is restarted. And now it will look for the SIP server to configure itself. In my case, I don't have a SIP server running behind it. I just have an Elastic server and I won't configure it right now. I'll just show you that 
this phone is running SIP right now. We got the SIP file that already loaded in it. And I'll show you right now. Just wait for a moment. I haven't made any SEP Megadus file or SEP Megadus file so it won't just register itself but at least it would show that yeah it is running SEP right now if I press this key here configuring IP and if I go to device settings 3 we have to wait for it. Oh, let's see. So you can see the setting SIP configuration means the phone is now converted from SCCP protocol to a SIP protocol finally. Thanks for watching the video. If, the, if you like the video, do like. Do subscribe and do promote our page and do promote our channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Allah Hafiz.